The transfer portal is slowly starting to heat up. We are still yet to see big names like Damian Martinez, Jacoby Matthews, Kamani McLean, and many other players transfer. But one of the best receivers in the transfer portal just recently made a decision that is going to really shake up the SEC. Because Keandre Lambert-Smith had an air down to two schools, Texas A&M and Auburn. Both are teams that could really use a great receiver. Texas A&M definitely could have used a playmaker at receiver for Connor Wigman to throw to. But the former Penn State wideout Keandre Lambert-Smith made a huge decision and he decided to transfer to the Auburn Tigers. And this is honestly huge for Auburn because they really needed another big time receiver that has some experience to help kind of be that mentor for the younger talented receivers in that Auburn receiving room. And it would have been awesome to see Keandre Lambert-Smith transfer to a school like Texas A&M, but I do personally think him transferring to Auburn was probably a lot more interesting than if he was to transfer to Texas A&M. And Keandre Lambert-Smith transferring to the Auburn Tigers is a bigger headline in my opinion. Auburn also has a 5-star stud at receiver who is a freshman and he is Cam Coleman. And Cam Coleman is a day one starter and we all know that and he's already creating a lot of buzz around the college football world. And Auburn also has many other freshman wide receivers joining the team. But the duo of Cam Coleman and Keandre Lambert-Smith could really help elevate that Auburn offense. And I am excited to see what they can do in the SEC together next season. Keandre Lambert-Smith was Penn State's leading receiver in 2023. He had 53 receptions, and he was the only reliable wideout for Penn State last season. The second leading receiver for Penn State only had 22 receptions and only 250 yards. So losing a guy like Keandre Lambert-Smith really hurt this Penn State team, and I don't know how Penn State is going to level up on the offensive side, because Keandre Lambert-Smith was really responsible for any upside that Penn State offense had at receiver, and Keandre Lambert-Smith had just under 700 yards for Penn State last season receiving. But we aren't talking about Penn State today, because today we are talking about this Auburn team and why they needed another big-time receiver like Keandre Lambert-Smith. And I think this is huge for this Auburn offense as a whole, and I don't think Keandre Lambert-Smith could have found a better fit for him. He will be heading into his fifth season of college football, and Auburn is a team where you are going to be a top target. But Auburn is also a team that I believe is on the rise, and they are really trying to take that next step up with Peyton Thorne at quarterback. And Keandre Lambert-Smith should really help with that, and he is going to play a huge role on this offense next season. Peyton Thorne is a six-year senior who is having his first spring as an Auburn Tiger, after missing all of spring practice last year for Auburn. And Peyton Thorne is one of those quarterbacks in the SEC, where I think it is more likely for him to level up because of his circumstances, and he should get a lot more comfortable in that offense. In fact, Hugh Freeze is really letting Peyton Thorne determine the system he works with. Coach Freeze made a change and did what he's most comfortable with, Thorne said. And what he really wants is what I'm most comfortable with as well. So I was super happy to see that. Since that day, I feel like the RPO system has been really efficient, and I've been really excited about it. I feel very comfortable with whatever RPO is called right now. With the adjustment to Auburn's RPO scheme, Thorne has had some of his best practices leading the passing game. As a result, he's continued to extend his lead in the quarterback competition, with the A-Day spring game fast approaching this Saturday afternoon. Auburn recently had their spring game and we've seen some spark from Peyton Thorne, including showing some early chemistry with Cam Coleman. And Peyton Thorne really did look pretty comfortable in that spring game. And I have absolutely no doubt that Peyton Thorne is that number one guy at quarterback going forward for this team. And obviously you cannot define a player by a spring game, but you can kind of get a hint at what's to come. And I honestly see a lot of signs pointing towards an Auburn team that is going to take a step up on the offensive side of the ball. And that likely means Auburn is improving their record in 2024. Auburn also has a new offensive coordinator who is a veteran in his own right. He spent the previous 16 seasons in the Ole Miss coaching staff, 12 as the running backs coach and the last four as the receivers coach. And he was partly responsible for mentoring a talented crew of receivers at Ole Miss. And that says great things about the new offensive coordinator for Auburn, Derek Nix. And I think he's going to play a decent role in helping that offense take a step up in 2024. Peyton Thorne just needs to be more consistent and he needs to be comfortable in that offensive system. And I think we could expect him to make some plays next season. Because having more targets at receiver is really going to help him out. And adding a guy like Keandre Lambert-Smith as a top offensive target for Peyton Thorne is huge. And it has a lot of potential to create magic. And Keandre Lambert-Smith honestly should not have to carry that big of a burden. Because I expect Cam Coleman to do incredible things this season even as a freshman. Cam Coleman was a 5-star recruit and he was the number 2 receiver in that class of 2024. 
only behind the insane Jeremiah Smith for Ohio State, who is probably going to be a first-round NFL draft pick. But Auburn also has a four-star receiver in Bryce Kane, who could also play a factor in that passing attack. And I don't expect him to be a stud like Cam Coleman, but he can be a guy that makes that Auburn receiving room a lot more deep because he is not even the only four-star freshman receiver joining the team because you got Perry Thompson and Malcolm Simmons, who are both four-stars. Perry Thompson is a top 50 prospect and he has a lot of upside. And Auburn really has a bright future at wide receiver. And that's why I think having Keandre Lambert-Smith is really great for this team because he can be a great leader for the younger guys going forward. And those highly recruited four-star receivers could possibly learn a bit from Keandre Lambert-Smith. And Keandre Lambert-Smith could possibly help set the tone for the future at receiver. And him working with Cam Coleman is also going to be great. There's a lot of talent on that Auburn offense. And I don't know if it's all going to pay off in one year. But the thing that makes this Auburn team interesting is the fact that they were in the biggest games last season. Because that game against Alabama came down to one play. And the game against Georgia came down to one possession. Both of those games Auburn could not win. But they were in both of those games until the time expired. And Peyton Thorne was still having his fair share of struggles. And he played pretty terrible in that game against Alabama. This shows that the defense for Auburn can hold up and compete at a high level. And that is exactly why they are able to compete with the most elite teams in the country. And Auburn is definitely trending up in my opinion. Hugh Freeze right now has a top 10 2024 and 2025 recruiting class. And there's a lot of talent coming in for this Auburn team. And I see a lot of reasons to be optimistic about the future of Auburn with Hugh Freeze as head coach. They return a lot of pieces next season, and 65% of the production from last season is back. Hugh Freeze knows what he is doing, and I think Auburn has a great culture over there right now. Hugh Freeze is putting in work in the spring transfer portal window, because Auburn also just picked up some solid pieces up front on defense, with three-star defense alignment Isaiah Rakes, who recorded 17 tackles and a sack last season for Texas A&M. And Auburn also added Philip Bleedy from Indiana, and he had 30 tackles last season. Hugh Freeze is becoming one of the top recruiters in the SEC, but he also uses the transfer portal pretty well at filling team needs. And Auburn also added two other receivers outside of the pickup of Keandre Lambert-Smith. Those two guys were Robert Lewis from Georgia State, who actually had 877 receiving yards last season, and also Sam Jackson from California, who used to be a quarterback. Auburn really does have a lot of potential stars at wide receiver, but what's crazy about that is that last season Auburn didn't even have a wideout that went for 350 yards. Because every single wide receiver for Auburn last season had under 350 yards. And a lot of this may be because of an inconsistent and struggling quarterback and a not so great offensive line. But who's to say that this cannot change next season? Because I expect Auburn to be a lot more explosive on the offensive side. And there's just too many potential weapons at wide receiver for them not to take a step up. If Peyton Thorne take it a step up and becoming more comfortable in that offense is a bonus. They already have a solid Russian attack and they return Jarquez Hunter who ran for 900 yards last season. And if he takes a step up he will be in a thousand yard rusher. And all the signs point up with this team. And I'm not calling my shot with this team. I'm not predicting an SEC championship in 2024. They might not even be close to an SEC championship yet. But their win total is at 7.5 and, and you may be making some money if you bet the over on that. Everybody can make their own judgments, but you get the point. I think there's a majority of reasons to be optimistic about the future of Auburn football. And I know they had some embarrassing moments last season, including paying New Mexico State $1.85 million to then lose to them by double digits at home. But I think last season Auburn learned a lot, and they are only going to come back bigger and stronger. And let's just say, adding a guy like Keandre Lambert-Smith at receiver really helps set the foundation for what next season can be. Because having another reliable target at receiver may be underestimated. But I really think it should help this Auburn team get a lot better moving forward. And I am excited to see what this Auburn team could be with Hugh Freeze as head coach within the next 5 years. Because maybe we are talking about SEC championships in 5 years or so. But anyways you guys let me know your thoughts about this Auburn team down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video. And also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you'll love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my discord server down in the description below. Because if you are passionate about college football and you just want some people to talk college football with. Then feel free to join because everybody is welcome. And I am really trying to grow my discord server. And the link is in the description below. But anyways, that is going to do it guys and peace out.